Sup, we are doing the react to tweets thing today. Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, come on, 2017 YouTube. But yeah, basically today, not the fact that we're devoid of any creative ideas, but reacting to old tweets, you know, it's something that is a somewhat popular trend, if we're actually living in 2015, that is. But hey, you know, it's, it's hard to come up with consistently creative content. And there's a lot of entertaining things to be trawled through today. Point is, we change when we age, so I'm gonna look at some old tweets and laugh about them. Number one, the, the inspiration for this whole video, 2015. This may sound crazy, I feel like Saido Berahino is a much better bet for England's future than Harry Kane. Yeah? In my defence, at this point when I sent out this tweet, Saido Berahino had just torn apart some League 2 team in, I think, the Carling Cup, and I had a really irritating friend who's a, who's a very nice person if he's watching, I love you very much, Dan. But he was a Spurs fan, still is. A little bit overbearing when I was doing like a sports radio show twice a week, and every single episode it was like, Spurs are the best at this, Spurs are the best at that. Christian Eriksen's assist percentage from set plays is 10% higher than any other player in Europe, and therefore we have a divine right to win. And I wasn't exactly on board the Harry Kane hype train. In hindsight, like, like what is what is Berahino even doing now? He's at Stoke City. That's how bad it's got. And yes, of course, the backlash. Everyone tweeting, texting me about Harry Kane. You can boop, censored off. And that's what happens when when you hate on a Premier League player. Just don't do it, guys, because it always backfires on you. This is actually quite a a heartfelt one, especially doing stuff like radio, which I love I mentioned I do radio, you kind of get nice little moments like this. Tim from the, 13th, the, th the 15th of August 2013. I swear a lot, I should stop that. But yes, the new White Lies album, Big TV, has arrived. Gotta be album of the year. Oh no, oh no what's, what's this I'm looking at now? It's, it's me interviewing White Lies two years, two years later. How heartwarming is that? I'm not showing off, I'm just saying, you know. Little would weird 2013 Tim have known that all that time later he would be sitting next to his heroes talking about how he, well, Charles from White Lies once shared a sausage roll with one of the Spice Girls. I went over to this, this, this one girl that I'd, I'd been introduced to and we were just chatting and uh, she asked if I'd like to share a sausage roll with her, and I did. <laughs> and, and we were having a sausage roll, and I said, uh, I just said, well, what, what are you up to in the new year? She was like, oh, I'm actually going to be in a performance of Jesus Christ Superstar that's, that's happening in Australia. I was like, oh, cool. Well, have you done much, much sort of touring with a, with a stage production in the past or anything? And she was like... Well, I mean, nothing major since the Spice Girls ended, really. And, uh, <laughs> so I was like, hmm? <laughs> so, oh, oh, you're Mel C. Yeah. Oh, you're actually Mel C. Like, <laughs> True story. Might release that whole footage someday. Anyway, next one, 22nd of March. Liam Baines is looking so, a lot like Ronnie O'Sullivan with that new haircut. Hashtag BBC Football. It was big on the BBC hype. 6th of April, 2014. Liam Baines is looking more and more like Alex Turner. Two legends. Make your mind up past him. Pick one. Ronnie O'Sullivan, Alex Turner. And then, just in case I didn't make my point suitably on the 6th of April, once again on the 20th of April, I'm not even joking. Leighton Baines is turning into Alex Turner. Hashtag MOTD. Shout out both of you, Alex Turner, Leighton Baines. Pretty sure neither of you have Twitter. So you missed that absolute gem from 2014, Tim, but hey. Woo! Jensen Button is so hot. XOXO. Don't actually remember, um, don't actually remember typing that out. I liked it myself, so it could be a, a twack. That's a Twitter hack for those who aren't first in the social media lingo that I am. And now it's time for a cute tweet. Gonna have some cute sort of twinkly music in the background now. Great to make my radio debut at Raw 1251 AM. That's my old student radio station. And it's crazy again, because um, being, what, 22 now, it scares me that there's stuff I've typed on the internet, especially old Facebook posts, that I literally don't remember putting out. So, God knows, I read them, I'm like, that's not me. That's not me. Again, it's the philosophical thing. There's a thing in philosophy about identity and, and age. Basically, are you the same person at different points in your life? That's what I'm trying to say here. Mm -mm 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Man, I did not like E&J. Is it true that hashtag E and J are an elaborate One Direction Stop the Difference product conceived by Simon Cowell? Hashtag Ash George E and J. That is full on trolling, man. That is not even kind of having my own space on the internet where I'm venting my uh, opinion. That is hijacking a bad hashtag. And then I just keep going. Schmidt can bloop off with their vague, with its vague attempts at humour. The Greeks actually had to drive the store to buy One Direction's album. Shut up. Why was I so angry about music? Now I'm just if we compare this in contrast to my last tweet about One Direction. There you go, look at this, the painful moment where I have to admit Steal My Girl is really a good pop song. You win this round, One Direction. I'm just a hypocrite, that's me. Biggest hypocrite in 2016. Sorry Kendrick. In conclusion, people believe different things at different points in their life and that makes us all undeniably massive hypocrites because if you change an opinion, then it just highlights how Nothing you believe you can ever legitimately defend as a genuine belief. Disclaimer, I don't actually think that, I'm joking. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, subscribe. If you don't, it's cool. It's not. But most importantly, check out the uh, check out the backing track for this one. Music is from an amazing local band called Spill Mug Society. Um, more videos on this channel coming of me interacting with those funky local bands like Risk Gas you saw a few weeks back. So, watch this space. And do you know what? That's time for one more old tweet here. It's actually something uh, a friend of mine tweeted me. I just realised I might be wrong, but it looks like V1i is wearing a Muse t-shirt. Let's end the video there.